Welcome back to Scotland. My name is Robinson Okenye. We are at Hell's Gate and it's all about the 2023 edition of the Safari Rally. Now, remember, the battle is between Toyota, M Sport Ford and Team Hyundai. We'll be waiting to see whether Toyota continues with their dominance as the rally comes to an end today. Will it be Sebastian Ogier? Will it be Kale Rovan Pera? Will it be Elfin Evans? Or will it be Takamoto Katsuta emerging as the winners of the 2023 edition of the Safari Rally? But before we get into that, we had a chance of speaking to Safaricom CEO Peter Ndegua on why they in, uh, invested in the FIA Young Stars and what the future holds for these young stars and why sports is important uh, to Safaricom. This is what he had to say. Yes, so since uh, the rally returned after 19 years of absence in 2021, we've been involved in the rally. Uh, we have uh, contributed about 50 million at uh, 21, 22, and, and this year, this year in particular, we've uh, contributed about 25 million, primarily to focus uh, on developing young talent uh, in uh, in motorsports uh, to represent Kenya. Um, so the three uh, drivers that we are we are we are sponsoring, uh, Makrai, Kimathi, uh, Jeremiah Wahome, and Hamza Anwar, who have done very well so far. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing them showcase uh, Kenyan talent uh, uh, and capability globally. Uh, it is part of uh, the opportunity to, to really uh, develop uh, talent for the future, but also inspire uh, young people who are intending to come into motorsports uh, and uh, safari riding in particular. Uh, so we are delighted to be involved in this. Uh, it's, uh, we are focused on under 28. Uh, it's part of the world program. Uh, but really focusing on uh, developing capability, including mentoring. Yeah, sports is a passion point for Kenyans, uh, just like music. Uh, so we believe that by investing in sports, we inspire young people uh, to showcase their talent, uh, to develop capabilities that will be important for their future, uh, but also to see sports as a way of uh, developing themselves, both personally, but also as careers. Uh, so we've been in, uh, involved in sports since Safaricom was started. Uh, we've, we've contributed more, uh, just over one and a half billion shillings uh, since the uh, Safaricom was started. Uh, this year we launched Chapadimba, uh, uh, which after three years of absence uh, because of COVID, uh, we are happy and very delighted about the interest that we have seen around the country. Uh, we've already started recruiting Western. Uh, we have recruited 428 teams. Uh, compared to last time, it was uh, just below 200. So significant interest. Uh, so Chapadimba is the, your kind of base uh, um, uh, uh, support ar around around football, uh, enabling uh, people in the in the in, in the Mta, uh, to actually uh, participate in football uh, and actually to feel involved and no one is left behind uh, because soccer. Uh, penetrate the whole country. Of course, we are also involved in others. Uh, athletics is a big one. Um, we have always been involved in athletics. We sponsored uh, uh, our sports people as they go to Olympics. Uh, we've recognized Kipchoge, as you know, uh, given his achievement. Recently, we've also rec recognized uh, Faith Kipiagon for breaking the two wa world records. Sports people sometimes don't get recognized. So a brand like uh, ours wants to, to show that world beaters actually come from Kenya. Uh, and we are, we, are, we are happy to be associated with it. Of course, there are also other, other sports. We've been involved in golf. Uh, both the ladies and, uh, and the men Kenya Open, uh, and, but also uh, ladies Open in Vipingo. Uh, we, 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 we also sponsored golf last year, uh, especially for young people uh, be, be, below, below 18. Um, we are involved in other sports. So sports is a, is a big asset and platform uh, to really allow young people to be themselves uh, and to build a future uh, that uh, uh, inspires others. The, the question is why not? You know, the thing is, Kenyans are known to be world beaters in athletics. We should create world beaters in every sport. Uh, it, the, the, we shouldn't just focus on sports where we are very strong. We should focus across the range, uh, different sports, uh, develop different capabilities. Uh, we should be seen as a nation that delivers 
uh, significant talent at a, at a global stage and we and they have already demonstrated at a very young age they are winning in various uh, various components they are doing very well uh, in 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 this uh, uh, in this safari rally itself so I do not see why in the next four, uh, in the next five to ten years, we cannot uh, really see winners coming from Kenya, and and also creating a pipeline, a new generation uh, of uh, new young people who are really interested, but also capable uh, to compete at the world level. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now that was uh, Safaricom CEO Peter Degwa speaking on the FIA.